Welcome to day seven of the consecration to St. Joseph. Today we're going to be talking about Holy Mary and Mary's role in helping St. Joseph to raise the child Jesus. Today we'll begin with the prayer to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from the deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield, too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness. Amen. <clears throat> Day 7, Holy Mary, pray for us. Each of the days, remember, that we go through, we're going down through the litany of St. Joseph, and today we, we are on the, the Holy Mary, pray for us. St. Leonard of Port Maurice said all Christians belong to St. Joseph because Jesus and Mary belong to him. You belong to Jesus. He wants you to grow in virtue and holiness, that is, in true love of God and neighbor. To make this happen, you must imitate Jesus. In particular, the best way is to imitate his total entrustment to Mary and Joseph. Jesus is not offended when people entrust themselves to Mary and Joseph. How could he be? He is the first one to have entrusted himself to them. He, more than anyone else, wants you to love Mary and St. Joseph. He wants you to love them and resemble them. What brother would be offended if his younger siblings expressed reverence towards their mother and father? What man would be upset if another person wrote a song about his mother or placed roses at her feet? Likewise, what son would be disturbed if someone praised the virtues of his father? A person who honored a father would not receive condemnation from the father's son. On the contrary, such a person would receive praise and tremendous favors from the son. Well, this is exactly what Jesus stands ready to do for those who honor Mary and Joseph. Jesus will give them everything. Jesus stands ready to give you everything. <clears throat> now, if a son is willing to give gifts to the person who honors his mother and father, <clears throat> what kind of gifts would a husband give to the person who honors his wife? All we have to do is look at St. Joseph to find out. Now, if a son is willing to give gifts to the per, all we have to do is to look at St. Joseph to find that out. St. Joseph will empty the treasure of heaven for those who honor Mary, his wife. St. Joseph will greatly bless those who love and honor Mary. The Virgin Mary is St. Joseph's wife, his queen, and the delight of his heart. She was the only woman who could ever satisfy his chaste heart. As Adam was not fulfilled until he rested in, crea in a creation similar to himself, Joseph only found rest when he found Mary. When he took Mary's hand in marriage, he consecrated himself to her and made a promise to treasure her femininity, especially her blessed virginity. He was her beloved provider, protector, and servant. 
and St. Joseph earnestly desires for her to be honored and loved by everyone. St. Joseph is so in love with Mary that he wants everyone to acknowledge her beauty. What husband would not want this for his wife? Doesn't every husband desire for his wife to be loved and honored by others? What husband would not do everything in his power to increase the reverence shown to his bride? If you allow St. Joseph to increase your love for his queen, he will empty the, empty the treasures of heaven for you. He has access to all the treasures of heaven. <clears throat> Consecration to St. Joseph will make you a knight of the Holy Queen. St. Joseph knows that Mary is worth living for, fighting for, and dying for. She is the queen of the kingdom of heaven. To fight for her is to fight for the king. St. Joseph, the most valiant of knights, knows that the surest, easiest, and fastest way to the king is through the queen. His mission is to reveal this truth to souls. For her part, Mary has full confidence in the chivalrous love of St. Joseph, her knight. She completely trusts him. St. Joseph will teach you how to be a knight of the holy queen as well making you capable of conquering hearts for the kingdom of God. Blessed William Joseph Chaminade said, A servant of Mary will have a tender devotion to St. Joseph, and by his pious homage of respect and love, will endeavor to merit the protection of this great saint. Blessed Bartolo Longo said, Oh, my dearest Father St. Joseph, I want to love you with the love that Mary has for you. As we get further and further in this con consecration, there are many other aspects to the book that I don't read every night. But I think I'm going to go through <clears throat> some of the main points that I, that I find have really touched me in the extra reading for each day. So the extra reading for, for today, it says that St. Joseph is the most Marian of all the saints, and his love for Mary is greater than that of any of the other saints combined. There has never been a greater Marian saint than St. Joseph, and there never will be. St. Joseph is the first human person to have been totally consecrated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And if you were to ask Our Lady, who is the one human person in all of Christianity who has loved her most, who has been the most devoted to her, and served her most faithfully, she would undoubtedly point to St. Joseph. He is the prototype and the blueprint and the model for how to live a life of total consecration to Mary. After having consecrated myself to Mary and to St. Joseph and going through this consecration again, it's hard to express what a faithful devotion to Our Lady and St. Joseph and, and just the, the treasure of graces that come with that. For some, it might mean an epiphany, that moment where, where all kinds of, of blessings are bestowed on people. For others, it may be very subtly, and it may be over time. And we have to have a relationship where we trust and entrust our petitions to them and know that, that they want and can perfect our prayers before they bring them to the throne of God. And by submitting to them and asking for their intercession, and through the prayers that, we're, that we pray every day and the worship that we give Almighty God, it's, it just unleashes the floodgates of, of blessings. Maybe not the kind of blessings that, that uh, would be the answers to some of our most basic needs. Uh, we're not going to win the lottery from praying to St. Joseph, um, most likely. But... If you want to grow in holiness and virtue and, and recognize your sin and deepen your contrition, all of these things that point to a deeper relationship with God, your experience in the sacraments of the church, the sacraments of confession and, and the Eucharist and adoration and uh, 
um, marriage, all of those things are just even more fortified. And I wish that I had the knowledge when I went through a lot of those sacraments to have the understanding that I do now. Um, now I just pray very often prayers of thanksgiving because I recognize the many other ways that Jesus and Mary and Joseph are present in my life and I'm so thankful for that. I hope by the end of these 33 days and when we have the consecration to St. Joseph and the Mass on March 19th, that that will unleash the floodgate of graces unexpected and undeserved and that we can share the fruits of that, that consecration together. So we'll complete this evening by praying the litany to St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most strong, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. M lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. And Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his house and ruler over all his possessions. Let us pray. O oh God, in your unspeakable providence, deign to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beseech you, that we may deserve to have him as our intercessor in heaven, whom we venerate on earth as our protector, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. And may the peace of Almighty God descend on you and remain with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll see you tomorrow on day eight.